hello everyone welcome to my channel so first of all i would like to thank you uh, each and everyone so for making uh, 800 subscribers and uh, for welcoming me uh, and as well as for supporting me and for encouraging me as well okay so i strongly requesting you that please uh, do support like this as well okay so that uh, we can enhance our skills in both way and as well as uh, you know uh, if required okay so from either end we can transfer our knowledge as well all right yeah so as usual if you are visiting for the first time or else if you haven't subscribed to my channel so please i am requesting you that keep uh, please hit the subscribe button so that uh, you know i should get some sort of you know motivation from you so that uh, i can post or i can create more inter, uh, you know interview related content pega related content and as well as career related contents as well all right <clears throat> so moving on to this today's uh, you know tutorial so many of the uh, many of our you know family members you know uh, like subscribers as you know uh, they have requested uh, you know uh, me to update or else you know me to create a content on the privileges okay right so that's why i uh, you know i created uh, you know uh, you know i uh, intentionally you know creating a content on the privilege okay so in this particular uh, you know episode i will be uh, you know telling about uh, what is privilege when we need to use this privilege and uh, why we need to use privilege and uh, where we can invoke this privilege at, at how many places and as well as few interview questions as well okay so watch till the end so that you can't miss any sort of uh, you know important topics and as well as you can't miss any sort of you know interview questions as well okay so as part of that so privilege is the most important topic okay from the security all right yeah so moving on to this to uh, today's topic so what is privilege so privilege is nothing but what but suppose in generic word privilege is nothing but what in order to gain access isn't it for suppose uh, if you are entering any sort of you know uh, some admin office okay like you know your university okay or else any sort of you know uh, collectorate like this okay uh, any you know public admin uh, administrative uh, you know buildings kind of thing okay uh, do they allow no right so if you have a proper pass or else you know if you have a proper uh, you know scheduled kind of thing okay or else you know if you have any sort of privilege uh, you know then only uh, like id card or something something okay then only uh, you know uh, you get the privilege to enter into the particular building isn't it so in the same way so here in this pega uh, pega created uh, you know a rule uh, specific to this particular uh, uh, to the circumstance only okay right so here uh, privilege is nothing but what in order to uh, you know provide access or is denied uh in order to perform some sort of rules okay i'm talking about the rules right now what are the rules okay now what is my privilege okay let's uh dig deep into this particular uh today's session so right so over here now yeah so what is privilege as i said so privilege is nothing but what it's like a rule okay so which derived from the security concept okay in order to uh you know gain access or else deny to perform any sort of rules okay either it may be activity either it may be report uh, you know report definition okay uh, correspondence kind of thing like that okay flow flow actions okay so like that right so if you want to uh, restrict some user to perform any sort of activity okay or else to run a report to deny okay at particular uh, situation then you can use this privilege okay so this is a concept okay up to now i think you gained some knowledge on the privilege uh, what is the background of privilege and why we need to use a privilege all right right so as i said privilege is uh, derived from the security concept this is the most important concept from the security rule category right now over here now what are the uh, you know rules uh, you know uh, where we can use this privilege in this particular first thing would be activities second attachment category rules uh, next would be correspondence flows flow actions pass uh, you know pass structure rules and pass definition rules okay right so these are the few rules where we can use this privilege in order to perform in order to access or deny 
to particular users okay right note this point so this is a very important actually most of the persons might not uh, aware of this actually okay so these are the uh, you know crucial things where we fail to answer or convince to the interviewer circumstance that is based on time based circumstance and as well as time based qualifications are not qualified for the privileged rules that is nothing but not available for the privileged rule okay so this is a mandate and the second thing now okay you gain some knowledge on the privileges okay now you also gain what are the rules then we can use this privilege everything you gain up to now right perfect now how to create privilege and where you win uh, where you can invoke this privilege at how many places you need to invoke this privilege okay so this is the second category right so let's uh, dig deep into this uh, you know dev studio so over here as i said so it comes under the family of security okay right in the security you will be having privilege now i shall create a some sort of like you know uh, like test i can say okay i am creating a text uh, test and over here now i am providing now uh, my class context that's it and i am uh, you know creating an open that's it so do i have any sort of modifications or else specific uh, you know uh, configurations do i need to add if i need to add then is there any sort of you know plus icon or else do i need to configure any sort of columns no right then how it works then now how it works simply you need to create a privilege that's it okay there are there are no modifications or there are no further uh, you know configuration that need to be done over here okay simply you need to create a privilege that respect to this your context that's it okay so simply if you create a privilege and uh, uh, you know uh, you done your job no so this is this is a privilege rule that you have created that is good very good now where you need to invoke this particular privilege you created this privilege that is fine but in order to function in order to pick this particular rule into this uh, you know uh, rule resolution uh, algorithm in order to pick this right now you need to invoke it two main places one the rules the rules okay which i have shown you right the rules so these are the particular rules right so these are the particular rules where you want to provide access or else deny kind of thing let's take activity okay here the first come is activity then let's take an activity for a crystal and clear purpose right so first i will take a uh, activity mm, where is that okay so this is my under my context yeah so let's take this one so open any of the rules which i have mentioned okay so here i am taking activity as i created so in the uh, security tab now i need to invoke this particular privilege okay right so uh, we created a test right yeah so simply you need to create the test that's it okay now over here so if i refresh i don't get any sort of uh, you know where i have invoked this particular uh, you know uh, class you know access role name and everything okay now when uh, we should get all these things now i will say right so this has been completed okay the rule which i need to provide access or deny okay it's particular it's up to us okay now i have invoked this privilege into my rule name that is fine so this is the first and the second now where you need to invoke this particular privilege so that is the most important okay so we need to go to the particular your operator in the operator you will be having an access group okay or else take from the access group now open the access group in the access group you will be having a roles okay now which particular role either admin role user role manager role or which particular role you need to pick that okay for suppose for his purpose i am using this uh, you know cwr life admin okay if i open so yeah so i have already a uh, you know aro simply we can say access role to object okay so if you didn't know about this access role to object uh, not to worry i will create a content uh, some other day okay so if you need this uh, aro kind of thing means access role to object so please to comment down so that i can uh, create a content on this particular okay now you might be wondering right what is 5 and what is 4 and everything what is 0 
okay so intentionally so written uh, you know for your purpose only so this is the most important and uh, this will be asking in the interview right so phi here i have provided here what phi so phi is nothing but what phi is nothing but production level okay phi is nothing but production level so like that four is nothing but what staging nothing but pre production we can say next third qa we can say okay and next two development next one sandbox this is nothing but one to five if i provide zero zero is nothing but what deny okay zero is nothing but deny right so that is the useful of this numerical values okay five is nothing but production zero is nothing but deny okay so that's why uh, assuming that we are in the production so that's why i have given it as a five right here i am not explaining about the aro but you know into this aro itself right we need to add this privilege so that's why i am just briefing the concept that's it okay here i am providing it's a self explanatory read write and delete okay so at production level you need to provide the read access at production level you need to uh, you know uh, you are uh, you know providing the access for the write and next is delete so like that okay right. so over here now we already created a privilege now we need to invoke this particular thing and next level level what obviously five okay so why because as you may know we are in the production so like that up to production level you are providing this access all right so this has been completed simple okay so right now i am not getting any sort of if i keep refresh right i didn't get any sort of where i have invoked this particular privilege i am not getting any sort of roles right now what else we can do means a very quick yeah now i am submitting now i said okay simply if i refresh this one okay i am cancelling once again i am uh, opening this particular thing mm, where it yeah see here i have invoked this particular privilege onto this role and as a this class context and this is my rule set and everything okay so by this way simply you need to create this privilege that's it okay so this particular uh, you know so this is the concept uh, regarding privilege now coming to the interview questions so where you need to invoke for suppose you created some sort of privilege that's fine now in order to pick this privilege okay uh, to the you know rule resolution algorithm now we need to invoke so that is a question the first one the first place obviously in the rule the security tab in the security tab you need to invoke that that is fine and the second thing in the access group you will be having a role access role in the access role you will be having access role to object in that particular access role to object you will be having a privilege in that privilege you need to invoke that privilege uh, role name and as well as that production uh, that level okay up to which level you are providing that access this is okay in this way they will uh, you know they will ask and in this way uh, you may be answering to this question okay to these questions right now interviewer smartly he or she or else they will ask a smart question okay right okay you said <laughs> okay you said that you know you are invoking this privilege on the security tab okay now where can i invoke this privilege in the flow okay do we have any sort of security tab in the flow let's check where is that uh, security yeah process let's open one of the flows we have available ha huh, this one okay so do we have any sort of security tab we do we have no now where we can invoke this particular security uh, this particular privilege that is a question okay so this is a smart way right okay now you need to answer so in this process in the process tab you will be having this privilege okay so this privilege you need to simply you need to invoke this particular privilege name rule name that's it okay so this is a smart way okay not every rule need to invoke this particular privilege from the security tab okay there are few rules that might not contain the security tab okay so this is a smart move this is a smart way to uh, you know uh, i can say to provide some sort of you know or else to confuse you okay so don't confuse 
okay here we are here to clear every doubt and as well as here we are uh, you know uh, i'm here to uh, you know provide each and every concept in depth knowledge okay how the interviewer might be asking each and everything all right yeah now coming to the background process okay background okay so uh, which rule is responsible to pick or else to provide the information to the rule resolution algorithm obviously to pick any sort of a rule right so rule resolution algorithm is the heart okay now coming to that so this is the one of the otb functions which we have available in the pega so this is nothing but what have privilege so this have privilege what it does means first it will check whether any particular rule uh, you know does it have any sort of privilege or not it's like a boolean okay right now in the history we will having a return true if access is granted okay so this is a boolean property boolean boolean kind of thing true or false okay right so this is the one thing and the second obviously we will be having in the java okay java kind of thing okay simply if i copy this thing and if i paste over here there is there see here boolean how privilege is equal to true now what it happens so this is nothing but what like a java functionality okay so if they ask more about that okay if they ask okay now you can easily you can say that you know have privilege is a one of the otb functions we have in pega so that will check whether any rule has privilege or not if it is has a privilege rule then it returns a true value okay if doesn't has any sort of uh, you know privilege rule associated with that particular uh, regarding that particular concern rule then it returns a false value okay so in this way you need to answer okay so this is the privilege concept okay another uh, question would be so this is the common question actually okay right so what is the relation between operator and as well as privilege so this is the uh, you know common question that interviewer might be asking now you need to answer so first every operator has at least one access group one default access group okay they will be having many access group but default would be one right in the default access group you will be having access roles access role is nothing but what as i said it is hr admin user manager like that that is nothing but role which decides which decides what are the actions that need to be performed during in that particular organization okay that is nothing but role perfect in that particular role obviously we will be having a aro that is nothing but access role to object that particular role okay we need to provide on which rule at up to which level we need to provide access okay as i iterated right aro in that aro you need to uh, pick that class and you need to provide read instance write instance delete instance okay so in the particular you will be having as we know 0 to 5 0 is nothing but deny 5 is nothing but up to production level you are granting that access okay this is completed under this aro under this access role to object we will be having a privilege in that privilege you need to define that that's particular okay so this is the relation between operator and as well as privilege okay so today we have discussed about this uh, you know privilege if you like this video so subscribe to my channel and uh, share it across our pega family as well so that they come to know what type of questions they might ask related to the privilege and security consult all right yeah so Keep learning and happy pega. Bye-bye. Take care.